different uh, correct answers. The main important thing is I need to make sure that we have um, the correct <coughs> notation for you guys to go up here. So just for time purposes, I'm just going to kind of go through this, and then I'm going to do one last example. <coughs> one last example for you. So a ray, remember a ray has an endpoint, and then it extends indefinitely in one direction. So when looking at this, I see one, two, three, four different rays I could write. All my rays could have um, different endpoints. Well, actually, a couple even more rays, because the endpoints could all be different. I could say my endpoint is L, N, M, J, or I could use my endpoint as K. right? But it doesn't matter. It just has to have an endpoint and then extend indefinitely. So I'm just going to write one. I'm just going to say KL. But remember, when writing a ray, we only have one arrow pointing in our direction. All right, so just make sure when you did your, your problem you looked at that, that you at least wrote it down with one answer. All right, the next one is a line. A line has to extend indefinitely in both directions, right? So there's actually only one answer we have here because, ladies and gentlemen, MK, that's not a line because K stops, right? That's where it stops. So there's only one answer, well, and there's a couple different ways we could write it. Well, you could say, I'll say the line JL. And make sure when we're representing a line that we have both arrows going across. All right. Now, could you have written JK as a line? Yes. Could you write KL as a line? Yes. But you need to make sure you have those arrows represented. It. All right. A lot of students will forget how to write the arrows. And just notice the difference between the ray and the, and the line. So now we need to have an acute angle. Now, I know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we haven't really got too much in the measurement of a right of a acute angles. But remember, your right angle forms 90 degrees, which you can say is like exactly some perpendicular lines. All right? And when they have that kind of box that gives it the measurement, unless you really see the box or you're able to measure it, do not assume something's going to be 90 degrees. So we don't have any 90 degree angles in here. But all I need to do is acute needs to be an angle. Yes? Is there a question? No? OK. Acute is going to be an angle that's going to be smaller than this. So we're looking at acute angle. Remember, we always want to have our vertex in the middle, right? All right. So there's a couple uh, angles we could have. An acute angle is we write the angle like that. And therefore, we have our acute angle would be um, one acute angle is NKL. You also could have done LKN. You could do NKM. You could do MKN. You could J do JKM or MKJ. Right? There's many different acute angles you guys could do. Just make sure you have the angle sign. Now, an obtuse angle has to be larger than this. So if here is an acute angle, I could say that here would be an obtuse angle. So how could I label that obtuse angle? I could say M to K to L. And do you guys notice how, again, my vertex of that larger angle? Remember, the vertex is in the middle. All right, straight angle. Straight angle contains how many degrees? 180, right? And what that means is it's going to be a straight line. It has to be 180 degrees, which is going to be a straight line. There's only one angle that we can represent that makes a straight line. Well, actually, there's a couple, but there's only one that we can make with they have that has a vertex. So our straight angle is going to be J, K, L. That's going to produce a straight angle. And then finally, our opposite rays is, remember, opposite rays are two rays that are collinear. An angle are opposite rays that are non-collinear. That means they lie on the same line. Non-collinear means they don't lie on the same line. So our opposite rays are going to have to be kj and kl are our opposite rays. So I can say kj and kl. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple things I want you to notice. There's multiple different answers. Just because you didn't get the same answer.